Good morning. It is so good to see all of you again. Well, again, I can't actually see you, but I'm pretending I can see you. Last week, you gave me a big smile, and I was wondering if this week, if you could give me a big wave. Awesome. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what happened right after Easter. There's this wonderful story in the Bible in Luke chapter 24, and it's a story called On the Road to Emmaus. Emmaus, could you say that word with me? Emmaus, right? There was a road where two men were walking along. And I thought today it would be wonderful if you could act out the story with me. So you're gonna be in the story and you're gonna have a pretend friend right next to you and we're gonna walk together. So I want you to put your walking shoes on and I'd like you to start walking. Now say hello to your pretend friend. Hello. So we're walking on the road to Emmaus and these two men are talking. And do you know what they're talking about? Well, they're talking about what happened on Good Friday. So you tell me, what happened on Good Friday? That's right. Jesus died on the cross and we were very sad. So what I want you to do is when you're walking with your friend, I want you to tell him what happened on Good Friday. I'll do it too. I can't believe what happened on Good Friday. I was so sad when I found out that Jesus died on the cross. Did you do it? Good job, okay. And then they started talking about what happened that morning, Sunday morning on Easter. Now you tell me, what happened on Easter morning? That's right, the tomb was empty and Jesus rose from the dead. So we're gonna pretend again, we're gonna walk and you're gonna tell your friend. But the good news was when the women went to the tomb, the tomb was empty and Jesus wasn't there. It's amazing. So the two men were walking and this is a long road on the road to Emmaus. And then a new man came along. And so then there were three men. So now you have a pretend man on your right, who's your friend, and you have a new person on your left. So every, now say hi to the new person. So they invite this person to walk with them and they're walking. And the new man says, what's going on? What's new? And they're kind of looking at him like, how do you not know what's going on? So they proceed to tell this man what happened on Good Friday and what happened that morning on Easter Sunday. They told him about the, how Jesus died on the cross and he rose again on Easter morning. And they're walking along. And again, it was a long walk. So the sun started to set and it started to get dark. So the two friends invited this new man to have dinner with them. All right, so let's sit down and eat dinner. What they did is they took a loaf of bread and they broke the bread. So I want you to take your loaf of bread and break your bread. Now at that moment, when they broke the bread, they looked at this man and they knew who he was. Do you know who the man was? If you guess Jesus, you're right. And they were shocked. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to give me your best face that shows that you're shocked. Right? And then guess what happened after they realized it was Jesus? Do you have an idea? Any idea at all? He disappeared right before their eyes. He completely disappeared like a magician. Now I want you to look completely shocked. Do you know what they did after they realized it was Jesus and then he disappeared? They ran to Jerusalem. So start running, start running, okay? They ran to Jerusalem and they found Jesus' disciples, his very good friends, and they went to them with so much excitement and they told them they had witnessed Jesus on the road and they had broken bread with him. They said, Jesus, the Lord is risen. He is alive. And I love this story because these two men, they didn't recognize Jesus when they were walking with them. And when they did realize it, they were so excited 
that they were walking next to their Lord and Savior, they wanted to tell everybody. And so they ran and that excitement grew and they told them, he is alive. So what I would love for you to say today is I want you to say, Jesus is alive. Here we go. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. I would love for you to get as excited as those two men and tell others about Jesus. Not only that Jesus is alive, but that Jesus loves them, because I think that's the most important thing we can tell people. Will you, see, will you say, Jesus loves you? Here we go. One, two, three. Jesus loves you. Awesome job, guys. Would you fold your hands and we can pray? Dear Lord, thank you for coming to us in such amazing ways and showing you, showing yourself to us. We love you, Jesus. Help us to tell others about this also. Amen. I would really like to encourage your families today to read Luke 24, the story on the road to Emmaus. It's a really amazing story and you guys can talk about it at home. You can go back to your seats. Thank you very much.